Hello everybody, I am Dustin Albertson. I am the Director of Product Management for Cloud and Applications at Veeam Software. And with me I have Elton from Backblaze and I'm happy to uh, introduce him. Yeah, thanks Dustin. Uh, my name is Elton uh, Canero. I'm with Backblaze, uh, head of the partnership team at Backblaze. And we're here to talk about our partnership together, right? It's, it's kind of fitting that we're in Miami because uh, uh, the last time that we were in Miami at Vmon, uh, we were discussing in secret, you know, the S3 implementation at, at Backblaze, and uh, since then it's, it's kind of grown vastly, right? Yep. Um, can you can you talk to us about you know about that and how the partnership has grown and evolved over those times? Yeah, absolutely, right. So um, you know, the company was founded back in 2007, offering a service to back up PCs and Macs. And we had to build a storage cloud backend to support this business, right? And and what we found out was customers loved using our service and what we were offering, and they wanted to use they wanted to be able to back up more than just PCs and Macs to the cloud. And at that point, we made the decision, opposed to writing more software to go and back up all kinds of things, why don't we open up that storage cloud and front it with an API to make allow people to use any tools that they have in their own infrastructure to basically be able to consume our storage and, and tee off their backups and other workflows to us. Um, in order to launch a service and offering at the price point we cared about, mm -hmm. right, we, we launched our service with our own, you know, kind of proprietary API. However, uh, you know, fast forward a couple of years from that is when we met with you guys yeah. in, in 2019 when we came out to understand more about Veeam and how Veeam functions with regards to tiering backups for the cloud, we quickly learned that you know being S3 compatible was the path to success. And in secret, <laughs> we, 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 we quickly adopted the S3 compatible API, launched that. And over the past three years, all we've seen is significant growth in terms of number of customers, a num an amount of petabytes being pushed up to the cloud from you know all kinds of Veeam deployments, uh, you know, across the world, uh, from customers to VCSPs, awesome. leveraging Backblaze B2 cloud storage. And you, you bring up a good point. It's, it's not just in in customers, right? It's 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 also partners, and 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 that's kind of where we've seen a lot of uh, growth and traction is is in the MSP community. Uh, can you you know talk through some of the the successes and and some of the solutions that you've come out with there? Yeah, absolutely. So with regards to uh, you know the MSP community, uh, you know Veeam has what we call Veeam cloud service providers that uh, offer you know, services to end customers to uh, you know, allow the cu customers to have backups, but without the customers having to invest in a whole bunch of you know, infrastructure to host those backups. Right? We work with VCSPs to kind of take the whole three to one, one zero backup mm -hmm. strategy a step further to say, hey, let's allow you to implement this four three two backup strategy, which hey, you know, do offer three to one mm -hmm. to your customers, but also you should protect yourself from ransomware in case you are a target in that case. Um, and leverage cloud storage. So, you know, customers will use VCSPs and, and leverage Cloud Connect to push their backups up to a VCSP. And in the back end, the VCSP can enable, uh, you know, can add Backblaze B2 as a backup repository, uh, configure their sober and push that data up to Backblaze and get the benefits of, you know, immutable cloud storage, immutable, you know, object storage from Backblaze. That's awesome, and you brought up a good point there with the immutability, right? That, that's been one of the key things that, that Veeam not only talks about, but Backblaze as well. Yeah. It, it's, you know, it's one of those things that a lot of people forget to turn on or don't know that it's there, and it's, it's like, it's, there's no charge, it's free, right? It, yeah. Turn it on and, and protect yourself. Um, are there, you have a, an announcement that you were going to make here at this, at this VMON, right? Can you walk through that kind of uh, announcement? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, just to kind of provide some context to uh, what, what, what we're announcing at VMON this year, um, we are a great target for backups, mm -hmm. right? We're affordable, we're one fifth the price of the hyperscalers. And what we have done is we've grown our customer base, uh, our Veeam customer base, and through that process, you know, we learn from our customers, right? Innovation comes from engaging with your customers and talking to your customers. And what we found out was customers would say, hey, we love you guys for backup. And when we asked them, hey, you know, we're glad you chose Backblaze for your backups. What's your DR plan look like? Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, a lot of customers were like, what DR plan, right? And we're like, you mean you don't have a plan to test your backups? And, and they're like, it's too expensive, right? That was what we got away, it was, it was too expensive. And it kind of left us you know, kind of scratching our heads and say, hey, 
why is it so expensive? Like we offer backup as a service, right? And we, we allow customers to tier their backups for us. If you break down this whole concept of DR, mm -hmm. right? What is a DR plan? It's having a piece of software that backs up, Veeam, having a place to back up that, you know, those backups, Backbase B2, cloud storage, and you need cloud infrastructure, or mm -hmm. some infrastructure to do the restore. That's your DR plan. As yeah. long as you can test it end to end, you have a full DR plan. Uh, so we we work together with a partner of ours, uh, you know, a Phoenix Nap to offer the bare metal cloud for restore. And we launched, um, you know, two years ago, we kind of put together a bunch of scripts that allow customers to kind of DIY DR as mm -hmm. a service, right? Um, fast forward, uh, we realized that customers love what we're offering. However, they were not too fond on putting around with scripts and so on. So one of our longtime Backblaze customers, a VCSP, mm -hmm. Continuity Centers, took those scripts and actually put together a product offering called Instant Business Recovery. And that's what we're launching. It's basically a full DR plan. Um, it's, 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 it's available through a UI. You don't have to worry about scripts. All you do is you, you plug in your Backblaze credentials mm -hmm. to point to your Backblaze back, you know, uh, bucket. And um, the next thing you do, you can just hit automate DR. And it will go and spin up a whole bunch of infrastructure, test, and you can choose how often you want to test it. Yeah. And you're only paying for the resources when you need it. And once you're done, you tear it all down. And you know, so what we've done is, uh, you know, based on uh, what the customer is looking for, we've actually bundled in instant business recovery into Backblaze B2 as an offering. So when any Veeam customer buys Backblaze B2 Reserve, which is our capacity-based storage. Um, they actually get one year free access at no cost to them of instant business recovery. That's that's really awesome. Yeah. It's it's uh it, it kind of goes again to show the the partnership aspect of it. How um, it, it, one of the th key points I wanted to hit on was it, all those scripts and everything yeah. that you made as well, uh, made uh, for this project. They're all open source. All open source. Um, yeah. So that's one uh, like uh, I would say uniqueness yeah. when it comes to Backblaze is that. Everything that you do, for the most part, is is open source except for some proprietary stuff on the, the magic on the back end. But your storage, your 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 compute boxes, and everything, it's yeah. all open source and available for people to go look at. Yeah. Um, and you do a yearly drive report. And, uh, can you talk about that for a second? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've always been a company that loves to be transparent about what we do and how we do what we do, right? Um, and if we can give back to the community, that's what we care about, right? Um, from when we built up our service, we launched it with uh, saying, hey, how do we make this affordable? Yeah. How do we offer this to customers at a price that we care? Kind of taking the IKEA model of saying, hey, this is the price we want to charge. How do we make sure the backend systems infrastructure supports their price point? So we you know, bent our own metal uh, to build our storage pods. We wrote the same in our own software to, to, that goes on the storage pods. And we were like, hey, let's open source this, right? And let people go, and if they want to build storage pods, mm -hmm. obviously there's more to running a you know, zettabyte scalable like object storage platform than <laughs> just knowing how the pods would build or the software goes on it, right? But uh, we, we, you know, we open source that, and you know, today we have something like 230,000 plus spinning hard drives in our data centers. And every quarter we report on those drives, and we provide a report of all the different models, the, the manufacturers, how long those drives have been in production, what's the failure rate, and what this does, it gives the community back the power of saying, hey, I'm looking for a new drive for my NAS or for my PC tower or for whatever. They know exactly which drive to, they can put your money uh, towards yeah. and that just makes sure that they don't lose data. That's, that's really awesome. Yeah. That's uh, really cool. So. Um, I, I wanted, you know, I, I think we're running short on time here, but I wanted to say thank you for not only being a partner yeah. uh, at, at Veeam, uh, but we've also been good friends for for years, <laughs> and even before uh, before I knew that we were friends, <laughs> right? That's you, correct. You know me. Um, yeah, can you tell people where they can find out more information about Backblaze, and, and if they're here at the show or if they're at home watching? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Backblaze.com, uh, uh, come to our website, uh, you know, feel free to contact us. Uh, you, you, on, the, on the website, there's the ability to contact sales if you have any sales questions. Otherwise, it's super easy to get started, right? Uh, there's a sign-up button, click to get started, and it's really like three steps. Configure Backblaze in your B2. Uh, so I could configure Backblaze in Veeam uh, and uh, enable object lock on your bucket in Backblaze and you're protected from ransomware. All right. On behalf of uh, Veeam and behalf of Backblaze, thank you and, and we hope uh, you enjoy the show. Yeah. Thanks, Dustin. And I am super glad we're doing this recording in person so that we don't have any microwaves messing up with that. <laughs> <There we go. laughs>